with what we yeah so uh, this is the model of the converter i mean yeah so this is our battery connected voltage converter connected to that bus so this is that bus so if you go inside you can see that this is the old thing you are, i mean the good in the measurement block then you have a transformer here to step down from 25 kV to 260 kV and this is the same and the other thing which i have added here is that converter so here when you go inside the converter you are having a voltage converter and there's a dc link so it is connected to the battery and it is connected to the grid through this inductor I and mean, this is a filter inductance which is connected to the grid and the I mean the modulating signal is coming from the controller so let's go inside the controller and see what all things are there so this block is a pll block so the control is done in dq frame so the three phase abc variables are converted to dq and the control is performed in the dq frame for that we need a pll so for that i am measuring the voltage at the bus so that vabc l mean l means here so the connecting point so vabc l if you click on that vabcl and iabcl so we are measuring the voltage we are converting it to per unit so divide by that 260 line to line voltage into square root of 2 by 3 will give you the per unit uh, value of that voltage so from that you will get what is the value of your pll sine and cos which is used for conversion abc to dq and again here there is a dq block to convert vd and vq of that line voltage similarly I mean this is the base of the system is 9 megawatt so we are calculating the current and dividing by the base current to get the current in per unit so this id and iq are again in per unit now if you control the id you are actually controlling the active power and if you control iq you are controlling the reactive power injection from the grid so we know that the battery has to generate the rest of the power like 9 megawatt megawatt is what we need so that minus wind is the battery power so this will give the battery power, how much battery has to inject so i am dividing it by 9 megawatt so to get the number in per unit so here you will get the power in per unit and divide by 3 by 2 vd will give you the current reference which is the reference current this has to inject so it will inject in the required power so by that you will get what is the d axis current reference current similarly initially we had put q reference as zero we didn't inject any reactive power but since you asked to regulate the dc link voltage to the 25 kv so i am measuring the 25 kv that's a reference and minus we are measuring the load voltage so that is a load voltage bus we are converting it to the post sequence and the post sequence peak will come here so that one we are regulating it to 25 square root of 2 by 3 and this is again divided by per unit in 20 20 kilovolt is per unit for that so that one will give to pa controller so that it will generate an iq reference so that this error term will go to zero so that will be my iq reference so once you have this id reference and iq reference now the next thing is the current control so id reference and iq reference you are trying to take the difference pass it through pi and necessary feed forward terms so this will give you a modulating signal in dq so we are converting back them to abc modulating signal so this is for d axis current control and this is for q axis current control if you don't need to inject any reactive power then you can simply put iq of as zero if you want to control the active power you have to control the id of so this is how the system works i think yeah that is the main part of the control so in the initial model i have sent i have put iq of as zero because we are not controlling the ac bus voltage but since you want to have a 25 kV of bus voltage i have done it in this way i think hope this will you understand